In today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk through how to fix this unlicensed Adobe app will be disabled soon in Photoshop. To address this unlicensed Adobe app will be disabled soon. So you have to follow these steps. Step one would be check your Adobe subscription. Ensure that your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription is active and up to date. Make sure you are using the same Adobe ID that is associated with your subscription. Step two, sign out and sign in. Open Photoshop, go to the help menu, Windows or the Photoshop menu on Mac OS. Select sign out. Sign out of your Adobe Creative Cloud account. Sign back in using your Adobe ID and password. Step three, verify your license. And Photoshop, go to the help menu, the Windows, or the Photoshop menu, Mac OS. Select license, the software. Follow the on-screen prompts to verify and active your Adobe license. Step four, reinstalling Photoshop. If the issue persists, you can try uninstalling and reinstalling Photoshop. Uninstall Photoshop from your computer. Download the latest version of Photoshop from the Adobe Creative Cloud app. Install Photoshop and sign in with your Adobe ID during the installation process. Step five, check for software updates. Make sure you have the latest updates installed for both Adobe Creative Cloud and Photoshop. Outdated software can sometimes cause licensing issues. Step six, contact Adobe support. If none of the above steps resolve the issue, contact Adobe customer support for assistance. They can help you troubleshoot and resolve licensing problems specific to your account. Step seven, verify your subscription status. Log into your Adobe account on the Adobe website. Check your subscription status and verify that your payment information is current and valid. Step eight, clean Adobe cache. Sometimes cache files can cause licensing issues. You can clear Adobe cache files by following Adobe's official instructions for your operating system. Step nine, Check for conflicting software, some third party software or security applications can interfere with Adobe's licensing process. Temporarily disable or uninstall any such software to see if it resolves the issue. Step 10, reset Adobe licensing, advanced option, only attempt this step if you're familiar with Windows Registry or Mac OS terminal commands, resetting Adobe licensing should be done with caution. Adobe provides instructions for resetting licensing on the website. Follow the appropriate instructions for your operating system. Remember to always make sure you have a valid Adobe subscription and that your Adobe ID is correctly signed in within the application. If you are unsure about any of these steps, it's recommended to contact Adobe support for professional assistance to avoid any potential issues. That's all for now folks. Thanks for watching.